Hello, my name is Christopher Gardner, lead blogger at mkcreativemedia.com, and we're continuing our video series and how-to series today with an ongoing look at Tumblr. Tumblr is a terrific uh, social media and blogging platform. It's free, and yet it has all kinds of powerful tools for customization and for interlinking uh, social media networks you're probably already on. And we've already covered how to set up a Tumblr account, so today we're going to get right to working on the blog settings and the preferences for that site. So let's get started. We're working on a Tumblr site we're calling MK Creative Hints. Now, in fact, that site does not publicly exist in the Tumblr platform. We're doing it simply for the purposes of um, showing you uh, how to create a site. When you get your uh, account set up and your email verified, you go into your Tumblr account where you have, in fact, two dashboards. It's not maybe uh, completely obvious what's going on here. You have the traditional dashboard, which shows information within your account um, of things that you might have already looked at when you explored Tumblr, if you searched for specific tags in the past. Um, as an educator, I have a story here about um, what someone wants to do with education. There's some photography um, here, some artwork that other people are working on, information about the upcoming Olympics. So those are some things I've looked for in Tumblr, and that will appear on my general dashboard. This is not this; these stories are not stories I can control. These are presented to me by Tumblr. I can, of course favorite this person and follow them, like them. I can also repost some of these blogs onto my own site if I want. From here, we can uh, post onto our site with text, photo, quotes, links, start a chat with someone within the Tumblr community, post audio files or even video. And we're going to look at those individually um, in a later podcast. What I want to talk about today is the second dashboard specific to your own site, in our case, MK Creative Hints. I'll click on that and go over to the dashboard here. We still have the uh, lovely banner, graphical banner here to post various media to the site. What I want to focus on today are the blog settings over here on the right hand side. When we click on that, we go into the settings of the site where you can establish your own portrait photo, photo or as you can see here, the MK Creative Media logo and choose a file off your computer and upload it in a fairly traditional manner. This is where you actually set up your URL. We have it as mkcreativehints.tumblr.com. As I said, you're not going to see anything there because we've not made this public yet. The URL that you'll see across the top here as you work on your dashboard and in your preferences, these are not relevant to what you want to share with the public. Now, presumably, you're going to want to allow replies for folks to contact you via your Tumblr blog site. So we encourage you to set that on. And if you want to keep those um, settings up or those replies up for more than two weeks, you click here. Now, let people ask questions is not quite as simplistic as it may sound. It actually creates a separate questions page, and you can title it anything you want. And that becomes a new page upon which people can communicate with you. You can allow anonymous questions, but the Tumblr folks give you a heads up that that could conceivably be a little dangerous. Um, people who are allowed to be anonymous might say some things on your site that you don't want shared with the public, so bear that in mind. In fact, leave that turned off. You can allow people to submit posts. Um, and this, again, will create a new page that you can name and put up some guidelines if you like. And you can control the kinds of things that people can post, text, photo, quotes, et cetera, just like you can. And you can turn on and off various settings. Now, this could be a terrific way to encourage people involved in your charity or nonprofit, say, are going to your festival, your fundraiser event, um, encourage them to share some text and photos. Um, but again, you might want to keep some limitation on this, or at least some control over it, as people post to your organization's site. Now, one of the great features of Tumblr, which is itself a free platform, is the power with which you can connect to your other social media networks, networks that you really already should be on, we hope. Um, you can connect to your Facebook timeline, sign in with Facebook. So anything you post to Tumblr will appear in that Facebook timeline. You can also connect to your Twitter account so that something posted on Tumblr automatically gets tweeted to your audience and hopefully pulls them into your Tumblr blog. 
Now, MK Creative have a Facebook page. You can see facebook.com slash MK Creative, and we have hooked our Tumblr site into that, as well as our Twitter account, at MK Creative Team, where we have customized our Twitter page with our uh, QR code and our own branding style here. So we've already made those connections with our um, MK Creative Tumblr site. You can post via email. If that's a convenient way to do it, you'll get a reset and a password with a uh, discrete Tumblr email address. RSS feeds. We've actually covered these in previous MKC uh, blog posts, and we will um, link to those. Uh, we'll talk about that in a subsequent um, video blog, but certainly setting up an RSS feed, really simple syndication feed, is a great way to reach people who like to use an RSS reader to gather their information online. And finally from here, um, you can have your website uh, indexed through search engines, Google, uh, Yahoo, and for those of you who use Bing. Um, we would certainly encourage you to do that. I'm not turning that on because we're not going to make this a public site. And you can also put a banner on it that it is not safe for work. Tumblr takes quite seriously issues of uh, violent imagery, pornography, um, any kind of cyber bullying for, against any group or individual. Uh, they take that quite seriously and they warn you about that numerous times as you create your account. But you might in fact be dealing with material um, relevant to a mature audience even if not uh, necessarily something that people would be comfortable looking at while at work and you can give them the heads up by turning this on. And you can in fact ultimately delete the account. If you do some work on it and you're getting it up and running for your organization and you find it's just not quite what you were hoping for yet and you want to try again, you can delete the account. Now if you have turned this on and search engines have already begun to index your site, um, those cached versions will appear on people's searches for some number of weeks or months, so bear that in mind. But the account will be deleted and obviously no new information will appear in those indices and they will disappear from people's search lists within, as I say, some weeks or some months. So these are some of the settings that you have inside your Tumblr specific dashboard that you will see here, which will have the name that you've given it in your URL. In our next installment of the MK Creative Media video series of how-tos and helpful hints we think that nonprofits and charities and even small businesses will find useful. We're going to look at Tumblr's preferences for your individual blog, some of the settings that go there, and then we'll turn to the great customization features. So you can really make your blog look like your own and brand it and present it in a way that uh, people will recognize as your organization, not an out-of-the-box or canned theme uh, as Tumblr first presents itself. So until then, I'm Christopher Gardner, lead blogger at nkcreativemedia.com forward slash blog. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you when we have our next installment.